Hey, hi, this is the Internet of Things show. I'm Olivier, and today we will talk about developing for Azure IT Edge. But this time, instead of just like very high level demo type of thing, we're going to talk about what's happening in the real life of a developer in terms of CI, CD, iteration, deployment at scale, um, using some tools that our team in, in China is building. So we have uh, Shane with us today. Hey, hey welcome we'll back on the show. Nice to have you. Thank you. Okay, so um, your team has been developing these extensions for developing uh, IoT projects into VS Code. Mm -hmm. And um, there's one in particular we want to focus on today, right? Yes. So today, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Azure IoT Edge extension for Visual Studio Code and for Visual Studio Team Service, which means you can from inner loop to outer loop with a seamless experience. Okay, well, I think uh, we need to demo that. Yeah, right. of course. So today, if we go to the Visual Studio Code marketplace, you can search like Azure IoT Edge and uh, install this extension. Okay. So after you s installed, you move to like um, your uh, Visual Studio Code. Okay. You can see I already created a several devices mm -hmm. and the four IoT Edge devices and the one Lyft devices. That and okay. Yeah, and the three devices per, uh, are for your production devices mm -hmm. and the least one actually for your testing. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is to simulate here a device on my Mac machine and uh, like, you know, for, for uh, real development, pr pr probably you need to test everything in a simulated device. And then mm -hmm. later you go to the outer loop, push everything to your production device. Got it. So when you say I'm going to simulate a device, you're going to simulate an edge device, right? Yes, so you're going to have yes. the edge runtime running on your Mac, right? Right. You have mm -hmm. Docker installed, and you but you basically are in the dev environment, so you don't want to have like to deal with devices just yet. So you do that mm -hmm. that 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 loop or that iteration of development locally. I like that. Right. Cool. But it's important to note it's on the Mac, right? Could be on Windows. <laughs> Could of be on course. Windows as well, right? Course. But that's on the Mac. Like it. So uh, what I'm going to do now is to uh, st uh, start a new solution, uh, which means I'm going to create a new IoT Edge solution. Okay. So, yeah. so what's what's the solution actually in that context? So now? a solution actually, if you know, uh, getting to know more about Azure IoT Edge, it contains uh, multiple modules. A module which contains like your code logic, pr okay. probably your custom module. And uh, you will also can have like a service module like Azure Function, Azure Machine Learning, Got Stream it. Analytics. Got it. Uh, basically, you can bring all the kinds of uh, possibilities from cloud to your Edge device. Okay, so you have the modules. What else do you have in the function? In the, in the solution, sorry. Uh, so uh, we also have like a deployment manifest, okay. which de which de describes the topology between your modules. Okay, so the routing yeah, that's routing going to be stuff. implemented. So you're basically defining defining the uh, the edge device deployment within that solution in yes, VS Code. Yes. Got it. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do first is to uh, provide a solution name. I'm uh, keep it like uh, edge solution. Okay. And uh, first, uh, uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, later uh, I, I will select the C sharp module, but okay. you know the list will become more and more in the future okay. since IoT Edge is growing. Like so it. So you have a C sharp custom module here in the list, an Azure function uh, using C sharp, a Python module. That would be a custom one, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you also have machine learning modules. Yes, so. machine learning will come in soon. Okay. Yeah, C sharp module, and uh, I'd like to say uh, probably uh, C sharp. Yep. A uh, pipe module because the default uh, pipe module. Okay. You're basically just passing on what you receive on one input yes, to yes. the output, right? Okay. This is a basic for you to then yeah. implement your own logic. Yeah. The okay. next thing you need to like define the the uh, Docker registry for you to push all these uh, module images. Okay. So uh, definitely you can choose the Azure Container Registry or Docker Hub here. Okay. But for testing purpose, I'd like to choose the local. The registry. local one. So you basically spun up a local registry on your Docker Docker instance. Right. Got it. Right. Okay. So uh, I just uh, simply press Enter, and you can see I have a new solution here. Okay. Oh, sorry. And uh, uh, we have a C# -sharp pipe module. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I'm going to do next uh, is to add a new um, module. Uh, add a new IoT Edge module, and okay. uh, I'm going to select the te um, development uh, template JSON file here, okay. and uh, add a C# -sharp function. Okay. Perhaps uh, I'm going to say this is a sample function. Mm -hmm. Also, this uh, directly pipe message from is uh, upstream and to the downstream. Okay. Again, the, the local registry, and okay. we can see uh, we have another uh, 
uh, module here is nice. the sample okay. function. You can see the CSX function uh, code here. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do, like you can see here, is the deploy manifest. Mm -hmm. You can see for a single um, IoT Edge solution, you have several system modules. Okay. One is the Edge Agent, Edge Hub, which directly talks with the cloud stuff, like mm -hmm. IoT Hub mm -hmm. and your cloud container registry. Got it. So uh, for the module section, actually, we have uh, like custom modules or uh, third-party modules, first-band modules. Mm -hmm. You can uh, compose all the things by yourself. Okay. So for the default template, actually, we provide a, a sensor, temperature sensor here, which okay. will continuously generate the uh, humidity and the temperature data acting like a, a sensor Like device. a sensor, so uh, really uh, for having data flowing yeah, versus, yeah. okay, got it. Yeah. That's, uh, so uh, these that's two good. kinds of modules, one is a pipe module and the sa sample function module, mm -hmm. actually we created just now. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do here is like we provide some basic intelligence here. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a debug here, which means I can, uh, you know, build a debug version of my module image. Okay. In order for, you know, testing purpose. You mean from VS Code, you're going to be debugging the module running in Docker on yes. top of the Edge runtime? Yes, you're right. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, so next thing is I'm going to check uh, with the uh, Azure, uh, Docker Explorer to check if my registry started, uh, local registry. Okay. So uh, let me see. Oh, it's okay. green. And uh, what I'm going to do uh, is to make sure the uh, I'm going to attach to, to set up this Edge device. Okay. And, uh, so you're using the Edge extension to have all that like right click, boom, just in there, just works. Yes, I like actually that. I uh, restart the uh, Edge uh, uh, runtime here. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do next is to uh, build the uh, the entire solution. Oh yeah, because mm -hmm. right now you have the you have the runtime that is actually running, but doesn't have any configuration yes, set up, right? Right. Okay, right. Got what it. The runtime needs to know what modules need to be okay. pulled down and started. Okay. So I select the deployment manifest here, and then you can see everything start uh, to build. Okay. So basically, the deployment manifest. What what does it describe? It describes the the, the code that you need to build and the images you need to create for Docker, right? Yes, yes, and uh, also contains section like the routes. The routes okay, yeah, uh, got it. Okay. Yeah, the path mm -hmm. and the, the topology you want to compose between each module. Okay. So here we can see it simply, um, you know, pass the uh, message from the sensor to the pipe module, and the pipe module later s uh, sent to the next module directly, then sent to IoT Hub. Okay. So uh, here everything is done. Uh, we ha have the uh, build stuff, and uh, we can see from the Docker extension all the modules are running. Okay. And if we expand this uh, uh, IoT Edge device, we can see all these modules wow. are here. Nice. And uh, what we can do here is to uh, start monitor D two C messages. Oh, to see what's coming in the class yes, from this yes. Edge can device. See the message, you know, all the modules are pipe modules, okay. so you can see directly we can receive the. Uh, temperature humidity data from the simulated sensor module. Okay. So assuming that I found some uh, errors or bugs in, okay. my, in my module code. Which so never happens, right? Mm -hmm, of course, <laughs> but so what I'm going to demo is to directly press F5. I can see, I can attach to the remote c -sharp pipe module the, the process. Okay, and yeah. that's because you are using the debug image, right? Yes, okay. you're right. So the debug Im image for C# -sharp actually uh, requires some uh, uh, dependencies like VSDBG. So okay. which means uh, you need some more dependency. But for your production uh, project, uh, you yes. need to remove the yeah. debug. But the good thing is that you just have to remove the dot debug extension. Yeah. You add it, and it's going to create that release version of sure, that Docker sure. image. Yeah. So uh, by click this uh, process. And uh, and uh, navigate to the uh, uh, C sharp module code. Yeah. Probably I add a breakpoint here because you know where the bug is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we can see nice. the all the variables here. Okay. For example, you can check the 
the method here, the temperature of humidity since. Okay. So you're at, yeah, awesome. You're actually in, in your messages are flowing, the edge runtime is routing the messages, mm -hmm. and you hit the breakpoint in a module running on that docker right. instance. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's basically uh, you have done for your daily development job. Next thing, you need to send a pull request, which means that your uh, solution already like associated with a remote Git repository. Okay. After sending a, a Git, uh, Git pull request, you move to like WSTS or GitHub. Okay. What we need to do is like you need to specify some CI CD pipelines okay. for your, uh, you, you know, do some testing, mm -hmm. deploy to the uh, uh, production devices. That's the full development cycle. Okay. Actually, this is uh, exactly the same uh, solution I, I've running in my Visual Studio Code. Okay. What we can do here is to go to the build definition. I already create a build definition here, mm -hmm. and uh, if you look go go to the uh, um, you know the the pipeline section, you, we have a single like uh, simply uh, can have some build uh, tasks here. Okay. The first thing uh, you know everything got, uh, just now is based on C sharp. We are leveraging the .NET uh, .NET extension to do some testing stuff. Uh -huh. And uh, the next uh, thing, we are going to build and push all these uh, LTH modules. Okay, so, so as, as containers, as, right, as containers right. on the registries. Okay, so I got what it. What we are going to do, you know, for the production uh, purpose, you need to like push to Azure Container Registry. Okay. Or you can specify like Docker Hub, anything else. Mm -hmm. And uh, with some beautiful UI, you can select the uh, Azure subscription. Okay. And uh, this is my uh, container registry name. Okay. Uh, this is the what kind of modules you want to build and push. So I'm using two wide cards here. Means uh, all the modules need to be built and pushed to. Oh, you could you could actually pick one only if you didn't yes, want to push yes. everything. Got yeah, it. that makes depends sense. on the developer themselves. Okay, makes sense. So the next uh, thing after you build and push, you need to deploy to the Azure device. So, so basically, so tell the device, hey, I have new containers, uh, new modules for you. To load and run. Right, right. Okay. So uh, probably you are going to deploy to a single device or multiple device. So mm -hmm. uh, here is a drop down for you to specify like single device or multiple device. If you are using multiple device, probably you need to define some tags or, or for your device. The, here, yeah. yeah, we have tag like a tag environment, uh, it's production. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now is to trigger uh, this uh, build. Uh, CI task okay. and uh, uh, make it into a queue. So if I go to this queue and uh, running build task, I can watch everything happen in WSTS with all these uh, logs. Or you can go get a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, it takes like a three or five minutes, but it really depends on what how many modules in a yeah, solution. Yeah, makes sense. So and, and and obviously because you're going to be pushing the Docker images, mm -hmm. like how your your registry is working, the network conditions, and so on. Yeah. 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 Got it. So uh, actually, let's go directly go to a previous build task. Okay. You can see everything is done. You get the, you initiate the build agent, mm -hmm. uh, finish all the test uh, test clusters, and uh, build and push all your images. Deploy to your Azure devices. You can That's actually awesome. see the build report here. Okay. Everything is clean and neat here. Nice. Okay. So uh, what I just mentioned is uh, um, I deployed to my production uh, devices. Yeah. Actually, if you go to this uh, uh, toolkit, I can see I have three production devices. Okay. So what I also need, you know, we can do is to go to the Azure portal. We mm -hmm. can see this is the IoT Azure deployment like a list. Okay. To, sh to show the target conditions for production, we have uh, three total devices. And that's with three successful responses. So VSTF basically pushed, like executed all your build tasks mm -hmm. and basically pushed that to the edge devices that are, that are running on your hub. Right. Or well, actually right. they're running on your machine, but configured through the hub. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so for this production device, uh, they can, you know, they are physical device running remotely. I love that. So yeah, you, ha you have totally automated or made like super simple the full life cycle of a real-life IoT Edge project. Yes. So there was a great demo of the uh, full end-to-end -end story for developing Edge you know, modules and devices using uh, VS Code, DSTF, like, and the extension for VS Code. 
Uh, awesome demo. I hope we're going to see more demos like that of the cool tooling you're building for our developers. Thanks, Shin. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.